preaching is not about information. Preaching is about revelation. Jesus said, let me see if any of y'all ready to teach. Who do men say that I am? You're John the Baptist. No, you're the great prophet. Peter said, excuse me, boy, excuse me a minute. You're the Christ, the Son of the living God. And the Bible records Jesus saying this. Flesh and blood did not give this. You didn't go to Delgado. You didn't go to the community college. You didn't get this from theology school. My Father, which is in heaven. How many know that means revelation? Hallelujah. Revelation told you who I was. Yeah. And he said, upon this rock will I build my church. Are you hearing me this morning? All right, the rock that Jesus builds upon is revelation. The Bible says that if the devil had revelation, they would have never killed Jesus. How many know we got revelation in the devil, though? Overcoming last day's obstacles is to understand most folks don't mean us no good. They invite us to family reunion to make fun of us. Or they invite us to family reunion to poke a finger at us and say, Didn't you say you're a Christian? And now you're acting drunk. In them lies no good thing. I'm amazed at the man who got mad because the snake bit him. The man said, that's this nature to bite. I want to do a shocker. He bit you. <laughs> Hallelujah. You understand it's the devil's nature to plot and to plan against us. To destroy the very prophecy that we want to walk in. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. The greatest plot the devil birthed on this people planet is called religion. Yes, Everybody say re religion. religion. Now, what was that thing Jesus cast out that man? What was his name? Religion. Put an R-E in front of it. Yeah. Religion means that legion going to keep coming back. All religion does is inform you, deform you, and reform you. It never transforms you. Come on, sister. That's it. My God, God bless you. God bless you. I feel like saying you're not far from the kingdom of God, woman of God. It is a personal relationship. Do you understand what I'm saying? You forced me to read Bible? That means you don't have a personal relationship with me. You, you forced me to dress a certain way? That let me know you don't have a personal relationship with me. When you have a relationship with Jesus, that means you're in love with Him. Yeah. Come on now. Glory to God. I don't want to hurt. My wife has been faithful to her changing her diet. Why would I come and try to give her cake and cookies and ice cream? I'm trying to sabotage her. Come on. That's it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Glory to God. God said it is his good pleasure to give us the kingdom. So who's trying to take the kingdom from us? The devil. And he'll use imps, wimps, skimps, pimps, mamas, greasy grandmas, mothers and mother rats, children, child and teachers, principals, whatever he has to do. Preacher, prove that to me in the Bible. You're the Christ, the son of the living God. Peter, flesh and blood didn't get this to you. To you, I get the keys to the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Five verses later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, get behind me, Satan. Hey, hey, hey. Peter said, hold on a minute. Don't call me Satan. It's just me and you here, Jesus. Jesus said, I call him like I see him. Are you hearing me this morning? That's it. Glory to God. You got to have discernment. Yeah, I'll speak. My, my, my. 1 John 4, 1 says, Beloved, believe not all spirits, but try the spirit and see that be of God. That's it. Hallelujah. Now watch this. Even, I'm still on verse 1. Even denying the Lord that bought them. How many can say I was bought with a price? Bought with a price. Blood bought. Yeah. All of my family. Hey, yeah. Lord, Blood bought. We were bought with a price, and yet we tell Jesus what we're going to do. Yeah. You understand, hear me this morning. 
To deny, it don't mean Lord, it means to deny the divine authority of his lordship. Can I give you a natural example? For those that are renting. Cannot the landlord tell you don't put big holes in the wall? Yes. He can tell you don't take up the carpet, that's the color it is. Right. He's Lord, but you haven't given him lordship. When you give him lordship, then he'll come and say, put that picture in the bathroom. Uh -huh. Put that picture in the living room. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He may have, he's my landlord, but he ain't telling me what picture to put in the room. He can't tell me what bed to put in and what bed not to put in. Is that right? But if I give him lordship, then he can tell me whatever he wants. See, in other words, today, Christians struggle not with calling him lord, but Christians struggle with committing themselves to his lordship. When the Lord say, be single for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're my Lord, but uh -huh, no. Mm -hmm. When he say, go get that brother or sister a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm, no. uh, here, here, brother, here's twenty dollars, even though you heard the Lord say a hundred. Hallelujah. We struggle not that we calling him Lord. We struggle with committing to his lordship. My Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a true feminine. Kill the flesh, mm -hmm. or the flesh will kill you. My, my, my. Jesus. I'm just trying to keep it real. We're dealing with obstacles in the last days that that uh, Peter and them, uh, old robbers, didn't have to deal with. Uh, we got the internet, boy. Uh, look what they saying over there. Look at it. Uh, we got some obstacles. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mom, I think I'm in love. Oh. Is it is it a boy or a girl? <laughs> Ain't nobody had to ask you that when you were growing up. You told them you were in love. That's right. They just assumed it was a girl. Now let somebody stay single. Are you homosexual? Like there's something wrong. God, get me right. My Lord. You need to hear me. Two hands don't make a hole. God wants to get your life right before you mess up somebody else's life. Praise the Lord, saints. My God, are you getting blessed? We, we just get started. My God. Uh, uh, if you like this message, go to the e-store. We have it as an entirety. I talked the message in at the end of it. And please keep writing me those emails. We appreciate you. We're praying for you. God bless you. We hope you have enjoyed this word from the Lord. If what you have heard has been a blessing to you, this sermon is available in its entirety on CD or cassette at our e-store. And I want to take this time to offer to you the greatest opportunity made to man. I'm speaking about salvation, life after this life. Have you made preparations for your ultimate destination? The Bible declares in John that God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall never perish but have life everlasting. The truth is, God loves you. God wants the best for you. God's made a way for you. If you want everlasting life, if you want to know that God has made a way, if you want to know for a surety that heaven is your determined destination with God and hell is not for you, please say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I am a sinner. I repent of all my sins. I believe you died for me and rose again. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you are now my Lord and my Savior. I give you lordship over my life. And I receive you now as my personal Lord and Savior. In Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen and amen. Now if you pray that prayer with me, welcome to a new home. Welcome to a new way of living. Please write us. We want to hear from you. I want to hear about your life-changing decision. I hope to hear from you soon.
God bless.